What do most of us th do when we want a drink of water? We walk to our kitchens, open the tap, and get clean, safe water to drink. But have you ever stopped to consider the processes that may be involved in the treatment of drinking water? You see, typical treatment processes involve the use of chemicals that generate waste, that's difficult to dispose of, and takes up space in a landfill. Now, picture a community that may not be as fortunate as us, where the term boil water advisory holds no meaning, because boiling water is a way of life. They don't have access to these landfills. As such, biofiltration provides a sustainable and economic option of treating water. So, what is biofiltration? Well, picture a distance of one meter. Now, try and picture something a million times smaller. Can't do it, can you? And that's the point. My research utilizes bacteria that are a million times smaller than what the human eye can see to achieve our goal of safe drinking water. These organisms require a home to build a community and nutrition, which they obtain from carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus, the building blocks of life. These organisms consume organic matter, which is present in water and is a rich source of carbon. However, this organic matter reacts with the chemicals being used in a treatment process to form products that are harmful for us. Now, while they usually have carbon in rich supply, they're typically starved of nitrogen and phosphorus. So consider this. What if we provided them with additional nitrogen and phosphorus? I mean, could we expect to see an improvement in the removal of organic matter? Unfortunately, there exists a lack of knowledge regarding this, but that is where my research comes in. I focused on answering three questions. First, how would these critters perform if we starved them of the building blocks? Hopefully, better than me when I don't get my building blocks. Secondly, if the building blocks were provided, how long would it take to see an improvement in performance? My research shows that although a slow process, it is feasible and yields results. And finally, by how much could the performance be improved compared to when they were starved? I found an improvement of approximately 20% in the removal efficiency of organic matter. This would allow us to reduce our use of chemicals, thereby reducing the potential health risks and making the overall treatment process sustainable, economic, and safe. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's one thing I'd like for you to take back with you today, it is this. The world is at a crossroads. The demand for safe drinking water is higher than it has ever been. We need all the help we can get to ensure that we meet the demand for this most basic of human rights no matter how large or small the source of help may be. Thank you.